Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. The subject or theme for this particular reading is going to be who is watching my social media and why? So we've got two questions um, that we're going to try to answer here. Um, hopefully the tarot will cooperate with us and give us the answers that we're looking for. Um, the cards that I'm using today, I'm going to, um, this is going to be an intuitive read, so I'm just going to draw them. Whatever comes out is what we're going to take. Um, so I haven't laid out the cards yet. So um, the icons are what you're going to use to choose from. Um, the cards that we're using are the Rider weight deck. Um, I also have the Gypsy Playing cards for clarification if I feel drawn to do that. I also have the Messenger Oracle um, if I feel like um, drawing one of those as well. So we've got a few different options here to choose from. Um, the first reading is going to be, these are my pendants from Etsy. Um, these pendants are only $5, so we're getting closer to the holidays. So if you're interested, then you can head on over to my Etsy. But these are just some of the um, pendants that I've made. Um, I'm wearing one. They come with this chain as well. Um, this, is, this is one of the examples. But the first reading is going to be this one. And it's a tree of life and it's got hearts all over it and it's deep green I'm not sure if you can see that but it's it's a dark green color the second reading is this tree of life and this one's got kind of a rainbow behind it which is very beautiful so this is number two and the third reading this one's kind of interesting I only have one of this um, so if you're interested in purchasing that, do that um, quickly because there's only one of those. Um, so this has a little seeing eye at the bottom of it. Interesting tree. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second, let you pick your icon, and then we'll start with the first one. Okay, so if you pick the first tree of life, let's get some cards to see who is watching my social media. So first we'll do who. Okay, we've got two cards. Let me just get one more. We've got the Four of Cups and the Hanged Man. Okay, I'm just gonna draw one. Okay, we got one, I didn't draw it. Okay, so we got the Devil. So whoever is watching your social media, um, they have some issues. They do have some issues right now. They could have some addictions. Um, they could be a person who's kind of um, envious. They could be a person who um, is very superficial. Maybe they care about appearances way too much or they care about uh, material things a little bit too much. Maybe they're kind of a controlling person, or maybe this person is just an extra person, like they're over the top. Um, it's hard to predict what they're gonna do. Um, or they could even be trapped in a relationship. That's what I'm getting here. So maybe that's why they, they're not reaching out to you is because they're kind of trapped in a connection. But that's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, the next card that you got is the Hanged Man. So this person, um, they could be quiet right now because they're kind of, um, they're trying to get a different perspective of what's going on. Maybe they're looking for wisdom. They're looking for the answers. Um... You know, they're surrendering themselves, they're having faith, um, 
and they're kind of stuck. I feel like they're stuck in this position. So they're just watching your social media. It's like they're tied to it. Like they're just, they can't get away from it. They're watching it. Um, I'm seeing the four here and a lot of times I don't, but there's the four here. However, it's upside down. You know, if you, if you look at the way he has his legs, it's upside down. So it's like fear of stability, um, fear of change. It could be, um, they're holding back. Um, they're holding back. They're spending time in solitude, um, to try to get the answers. So maybe they're looking to your social media or your, you know, whatever to try to get the answers. And it could be about, you know, a connection that they feel trapped in. It could be the connection with you that they feel trapped in. And then you've got the Four of Cups. So this is really, um, it's unfulfilled expectations of what you really want in love. So it's unhappiness. It could be even being bored in a connection. Um, you know, it could be restless in love or anxious in love or just, you know, kind of stuck in a rut is what I feel like this person is. Um... As far as um, why are they doing this? We're kind of already getting that, but. Let's see why. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords. We've got the Four of Wands. And we've got the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. So why is this person stuck in this rut? Um, the Ten of Cups reversed. So this person, I do feel like they have some sort of broken connection or something to do with other people this broken relationship, maybe it was with you, maybe it was with someone else. They could be having a lot of problems within their family right now. Um, they could be alone. A lot of them um, could be alone right now. And that's why they are, or they're feeling lonely. And that's why they're watching your social media. Maybe they're addicted to watching you and you know, they do it while they're alone and they really, they, I feel like they just feel like this could never work. This could never turn into anything with the hangman. I think they really do want, um, oh, clarifying that the hanged man, the four of wands. So I think they really do want something stable with you, something solid with you. Um, you know, this is also the 1111, so this person could be a soulmate, and they really want this, um, fulfillment with you. They could want to marry you, and that's why they're, they're watching you, but maybe they just don't know what to do. They're feeling kind of stuck. Um, and the final card that you got to clarify the Four of Cups is the Six of Swords. So... It's like moving away, it's necessary to move away from you. I feel like that's more calm, so there's less drama. I feel like, because if they were to come towards you, then maybe it would cause drama. Maybe within the family, or it could even be like with friends, it could cause drama. So instead, they're holding back, and they're just watching you. Let's get an overall clarifier. Um for this connection. But I do think they, they dream of this perfect relationship with you, but they kind of think that they're a little bit negative with the devil card, they're thinking it's negative, so they're depressed about it. You know, they don't really, they're in denial that this could actually really work or be permanent. This person has some, you know, some problems 
with the devil card here. Um, maybe they're, you know, focused on sexual pleasures and things like that. Okay, an overall clarifier is the desire card. So for whatever reason, you know, I feel like you, if you are the feminine, you do have some desire for this person. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking you probably already know who this is. And, you know, maybe let me know down in the comments if you already kind of know who this is. Um, but yeah, I feel like you still do desire this person. Um, even if they're, you know, maybe they talk too much about sex. Um, but ultimately, you know, I feel like they would like that happily ever after with you. But for some reason, they don't think that it's a possibility. Maybe they think that, um, you know, it would cause too much drama. So that's why they've had to step away. Um, I feel like there's more than one person involved here. So it could be a group of friends or something like that. Some other people could be family involved. Let's get one last card. So who is watching my social media and why? Okay, you've got change is unavoidable, card number six. So six could be significant in some way. It could be the month of June. It could be um, six days, six weeks, six months. Okay, so I feel like this person, um, whoever they are, I feel like they have been in the dark. Like, look at all the darkness, and we've got the devil in this reading as well. So this person, they have been in the dark for quite a while. Um, you know, they could be just going out at night and sleeping during the day, but I think they, they do want to come out of that. Look how his third eye is open. So this person, they do want to become enlightened. I think they do want to step into the light. I think that this, this black egg kind of represents this person. Like they want to break out of this dark period that they're going through. Um, and they're really contemplating it. Look how he's looking. He's contemplating how to get out of this dark place. Um, but as far as this person, if they're a masculine, boys, I think they work out or something. Um, they have nice chiseled body. Um, they also, I'm trying to get some physical characteristics for you guys to help you. They could have, um, they could have light colored hair. Or they could have, um, they could have orangish hair, or they could be into like fashion colors because he also does have kind of green in his hair. But he's kind of growing out of this tree. So I feel like this person, they're growing, they're changing, they're shedding their skin. See how this snake is shedding his skin? This person, they're growing, and they do want to ultimately change as a person, and they do want to become more uh, enlightened, and you desire this person, so I feel like you already know who this is, so let me know if you know who this is. That's all I have for you, number one. This was a super fun reading. Let me know if you like this. Okay, so number two, if you pick this pretty pendant with the rainbow, available on my Etsy store for only $5, and they do come with a chain. Okay. So let's see who is watching my social media. So we're going to get um, three cards. I'm going to draw three. You've got the Ten of Cups upright. Woohoo! You've got the King of Wands. And you've got the Two of Wands. 
Okay, so this person could be a fire sign or they could have it in their chart. So that's Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, don't just go by signs. I, I kind of always tell people. So this person, oh my gosh, they really do. They have strong feelings for you. I think that they love you. They want to be supportive to you. They want to help you in some way. I feel like this person, um, they have this strong emotion when they're around you. Maybe you're unaware of this, but this person, they really, they, they feel this happiness when they're, they're with you. Um, I feel like they want this partnership with you. If you guys don't have children, then I feel like this person, they would like to have a family with you. So whether it's bringing children in from another marriage or a relationship, they would feel like they want to be your partner. So they would want to be a stepmom, stepdad, or just a supportive person um, to help you. So they're really looking at the long term rather than the short term with the 10, you know, that's ultimately that's completion. So whoever this person is that's watching your social media, they only intend good things for you. Um, they really, they could be a person from the past because I feel like you guys have already been through some things or you guys know each other. There's some reason why this person loves you. They have to have known you or known friends of your like this person to be at a 10 on the love scale like we're not at a one we're at a 10 on the love scale so this person really does have a lot of love for you with the king of wands i feel like this person is very attractive you really um physically this person i think you think they're very hot you know the king of wands he's a fire sign um, or this is the energy that this person has. They're very hot. hot. They can be very charming. Um, they can be a leader. Leader. They can be an alpha male. Um, but I feel like they, um, they're very confident as well. Um, they could be very passionate. So watch out for this person. You may have to slow them down when they do reach out to you because I feel like they, they're going to come in very hot and heavy. Um, and, you know, maybe that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for something slower. And this person, they're going to want to rush it. So they're watching you. They're desiring you. They're wanting this completion with you. They're wanting this whole life with you. And then the two of wands. So while they're watching you on the World Wide Web, which is what I'm getting from the world, because we're talking about social media. This reading is all about that. So the world to me in this reading represents the web. Um, so this person, while they're watching the web, they're focusing on these two wands. And this is really um, weighing out their choices, um, balancing things in their life. Um, wanting to look to the future, planning for the future, planning to expand and making choices with the future in, in their mind. So this person, um, they want to come in and they, they may have things that they want to offer you because they really think that they want this, um, this balance with you, with the two here. It's like, um, you guys would balance each other out. You guys would um, really, it's having the ability to commit to someone because look how this wand is kind of behind him and he's clearly holding on to this wand. So if there were options in the past, this person is turning their back to the other options and they're just focusing on you and they're focusing on you in the wet on the web. Um, look here too, how he's chosen this wand. He's looking at it adoringly. Um, so it's all about you with this person. It's not, if they had options in the past, they're turning their back on them. So let's see why, why is it, why do they love you so much? I mean, this person, I feel like if you know who this is, then let me know down in the comments. Seems like a very good connection. Let's get three more cards of why. I'm just going to draw them out. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. 
Okay, you've got the Four of Cups reversed. You've got the Six of Swords reversed. You guys, I feel like you you sh you probably watched number one, and then you've just moved over here to number two. Some of you out there. Yep, okay, Four of Wands reversed. You guys saw me shuffle. Okay, watch number one if you're watching this and you haven't. This is hilarious. So this person, um, these cards, most of them are from the first reading, except for these two, um, but they're in different um, positions. Okay, so the Four of Cups reverse. So this person, they're motivated to get out of this rut that they've been in. Their love life has been very unfulfilling. And this person, they're looking for happiness in love and they're not going to settle for less than that. So this person, they see with you that they could have this ultimate beautiful life. Um, and they're not going to settle for less. So I feel like they're coming out of a rut where they've been in a rut in their love life. With this, I said they're moving away from you. Um, they can't, you know, stay and face the music. So they're going away. So with this reverse, I feel like... They are going to stay and they are going to, you know, face the music. They're going to stand up. They're going to defend themselves. They're not going to run away. If there's things that they have to um, face, they're going to do it. They're not going to run away from it. So it's like this person is very bold. They're not scared. They're not afraid to go after what they want. And then the four of wands reverse. So maybe it's like... This hasn't come to fruition, okay? This hasn't actually reached the place that they want it to be. Um, I feel like um, maybe there's been arguments in the past with this person. Um, or they think about maybe, you know, arguments. Um, maybe in their love life. And they're tired of that. They don't want to argue with anyone they they really want security. This is what they're focusing on. They want comfort in life. They don't want to be ignored. And this person, I don't feel like they're going to be ignored. So they're probably talking to you while they are stalking you on social media. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. So let's get an overall energy. Let me know if you know who this is. This is very exciting. Sweetheart, I told you guys, this person, they think you're sweet. They think you're adorable. They're in love with you. And if you're the feminine, then keep doing what you're doing because this person's noticing you. Okay, let's get one of these cards. We don't really need it, but I did it for the last pile. This is a great reading, you guys. Whoever this is, they have this deep love for you. They have this attraction to you, um, but you guys aren't quite there yet. You guys aren't quite to the point of, maybe it's just memories, you know? Be patient, card number two. So yeah, like what, what I was just saying, I feel like it hasn't quite come together yet because the four of wands is reversed. So it's like, be patient. This person, they do want to be with you. Um, they do want to love you. So just be patient with them. Um, they do see a future with you. That's all I have for you. If you would like to purchase um, this pendant or a reading, um, head on over to my Etsy. I, I sell things and I do readings. Okay, so last... Um, but not least, this this cool orange pendant with the this all-seeing eye. Let's see who is watching your social media and why. So first we're going to see who is it. So we're going to get three cards. Who is it? Oh my gosh. Well, at least they reversed this time. You guys, all of these readings are flowing together. So if you have enough time to watch all three readings, I strongly 
I strongly tell you um, these are all connected. They all could be for you. We're getting the same cards. And you guys see me shuffling them, like seriously. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to do all of these um, at once. We need one more. So who is watching my social media and why? So before I did who and why. So we've already got part of the why. So I guess spirit's just like, get into it. Do it already. <laughs> Tell them. One more. Okay. So who is watching and why? So I like the devil in reverse. You know, go over and watch the number one. Uh, the devil in reverse is good. This is recovery. This is freedom from things that you felt tied to before. So maybe you were you know, a sex addict. Maybe you were stuck in a negative, depressing mental state. Maybe you, um, you were ignoring or you were neglecting things that were important to you. I feel like you're recovering and you could be a, leaving an abusive situation or maybe you felt stuck in a negative, um, no, this is who they are. So they're, they're leaving a, a, a negative situation. They, um, they're not repeating mistakes of the past. This person, they're doing good things. They're not re repeating. They've learned from their mistakes of the past, which is good. The hanged man reverse. So it's like not hitting the pause button. This is like, okay, let's go ahead with this. Let's see what this could turn into. Um, this person, I feel like they, um, they want to get untied from these negative situations. They were tied to something. Someone made them feel bad. Someone was selfish. Someone could have been treating them very badly. Okay. Whoever this person is, I feel like, uh, have a little bit of pity on them because someone has really been negative to them. Someone has put them in a dark spot and they are trying so hardly to get out of this. With the Hermit card, I feel like they are, they're abandoning those people that were bad for them. They really don't want to be around those people um, that drag them down, that make them depressed, that give them anxiety. Um, they're, co they're controlling their life and they're, they're pulling themselves out of a dark spot. Whoever this person is, um, they're seeing the light. They are seeing the light, finally. And they're like, I'm not going to be dragged down by anyone. I'm not going to let anybody um, be negative towards me. Um, I believe in myself. And if they say this crap about me anymore, I'm going to go off on them. Because I am... You can't do that to me. You have to be fair to me. And you're not being fair. You're being, you know, very... I feel like if someone was being arrogant, someone was being negative, and this person is like, you know what, I'm not going to stick around that person. That person only repeats errors and mistakes, and I'm not going to be like them. And then why? It's because this person, um, they don't like fighting. They really don't like fighting. And that's what they've been subjected to, I feel like. And so this person, they look to you to kind of heal them, to heal that heartache that they could be having. Um, they really see you as like a savior to them for some reason. They really think that you help them. Um, so whatever you're posting, it could be positive. You know, if you watch my channel, I'm sure you do post positive things. So this person is looking to you to really have faith for harmony, for healing. Um, they see you as a person who can help them out of a depression. Um, this person could be a little bit too much. Maybe they have too much baggage. If you, if you, if you're an empath and yeah, you'll want to help take it on, but this person be careful because they could put a lot on you as far as what they've gone through. Um, but they're, they're awakening to it. They're like, wow, I was in such a bad place and I'm getting out of that with the chariot card in reverse. Um, I feel like this person, um, they've kind of given up hope on whoever it was that was dragging them down. 
um, that person, they really saw that person as having no direction in life. And so it's like, um, I feel like this person, um, they felt like if they hung around that person anymore, they were losing. They were going to lose. That was a bad choice. Um, that person was nasty, probably had an ego. Um, that person had no faith and it, they didn't see it growing with that person. So they look to you as a person. Wow, this person really sees you as their savior. I don't know who they were hanging around with, but it wasn't good for them. Okay, so the thief, they, um, yeah, this person, someone really was really bad to them. Someone really, um, robbed their peace of mind. Someone really, um, someone was really in a dark place and they took advantage of this person. They really took advantage of this person to, um, maybe protect them or give them shelter. Um, I feel like this person used them and maybe even bullied them and they don't want to do that anymore. They, they're getting their faith. So this person, they're having this wake up call and they, they're awakening to a better life. They really want to change things. They want to be obedient to God. You know, they, they know what's right and wrong. And they saw this other person they were hanging out with was being no good, was oppressing them. This person had a light bulb moment. You see? This person really had a light bulb moment. And that's why they're looking to you. They see you as hope. They see you as a miracle. They see you as joyous, optimistic. Let's get one more. Card number 33, respect your boundaries. So this person, they are, they're, they're respecting their boundaries now and um, no longer are they going to let people take advantage of them. Look how they're like turning their back. They're like, okay, no, no, I'm not going to put up with you. Um, I'm looking for better things. This person, they're so colorful. Maybe they're Maybe they support the Rainbow Tribe, or maybe they are part of the Rainbow Tribe, if you know what that means. If you don't, Google it. This person, um, they're really putting up a lot of boundaries with the people around them. They're friends. They are not tolerating less than what they expect. They, they're becoming religious, and they want to be obedient to God. Maybe you're helping them to be a better person, and this is why they're watching you on social media. The number 33, look up angel number 33 if you watch this third reading, because I feel like it has some sort of correlation to this reading. So that's all I have for you, number three. If you're looking for something more detailed, head on over to my Etsy. I have readings over there. I have readings using the messenger deck. I have readings using any kind of deck that you um, request. So just go on and do it and maybe even purchase something. Thank you very much and love and light to you. And let me know if you know who this is. I really, I'm curious. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.